Welcome to the joy of genealogy. This YouTube channel seeks to take all those passages in the Bible where so-and-so begets so-and-so begets so-and-so and help you figure out who the heck so-and-so even is and why they're there and why they're important. I like to take the time to read the scripture. If you've listened to any sermons on genealogies, you know that the tendency for a lot of pastors is to talk about the passage, tell you why it's important, but never to slow down and read it, which is my only goal with this channel. Today's video, let me introduce you to Ketorah. Who is Ketorah? I didn't know until I started researching. Ketorah is the second wife of Abraham. Surprise, Abraham had a second wife. I had no idea. In Genesis, she is referred to as Abraham's second wife. In Chronicles, she is referred to as Abraham's concubine. Best I can figure. She was a concubine. Sarah died. Abraham took her as a wife. Total guess, but it makes sense if you really think about it. So, concubine, wife. Ketorah is Abraham's second wife. This is not to say he didn't have other wives or other concubines, but in the Bible, this one in particular gets what I referred to in the last video as an entire chapter. It turned out to be four verses. Well, she still gets four verses. I didn't know who she was. I'd like to introduce you. Ketorah is particularly important because of who her descendants are. I learned a lot about this person, Midian. Midian may or may not sound familiar to you, but what should sound familiar to you is the Midianites. If you've studied the Bible at all, you have heard of the Midianites. The Midianites, for me, have two specific important instances. One is in the story of Moses. Moses marries Jethro's daughter. Jethro is the high priest of Midian. The second important reference to the Midians is Joseph. Joseph is sold to da, 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 the Midianite traders. I find both of those instances incredibly interesting. I know that the Midianites are way more in the Bible than even what I mentioned, but for right now, those two references are the most important. So how do we get the Midianites? Well, we go from Ketorah down to Midian. Genesis 25, verses 1 through 4. Then again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Ketorah. Abraham took Ketorah. Per the usual, I will make her purple. Verse 2. And she bare him. Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, Shua. I'm going to put these in a little bit of a different order. I put them in that order in order to read them to you. However, verse 3 and Jokshan, I don't know if the little characters make it easier, but they do kind of for me. So I'm going to keep doing them. Jokshan begot Sheba and Dedan. And the sons of Dedan were Ashurim, Letushim, and Laoman. And the sons of Midian Epha, Epher, Enoch, Abida, Eldea. Per the usual, we will cross-reference this with 1 Chronicles 1, verses 32 through 33, which says, Now the sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, she bare Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. And the sons of Jokshan, Sheba, and Dedan. The sons of Midian, Ephah and Ephah, Henuk, Abida, and Elida. Enoch spelled with an E, and a beta spelled A B I D A. Audio Bible says Abida, Abida, Abida. 
And what's important about Midian is also in Genesis 36, chapter 35, where he died. Spoiler alert if you got kind of attached to Midian. Basically, everybody in this passage dies. But Midian dies, particularly Genesis 36, 35, where it says, And Husham died, and Hadad the son of Bedad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Avith. Now, these people are people we haven't talked about yet. So if the names don't sound familiar to you, that's a good thing because we haven't talked about them. These are the children of Esau. So Esau's descendants kill Midian in Genesis 36 and also in First Chronicles 1 verse 46. So Abraham and Keturah have these children who... As of right now, I don't know a whole lot about them, except Midian, who ends up being the descendant, father, grandfather, however many greats back, of Moses' future wife. Next time, we will talk about the rest of Abraham's descendants. I did mean to mention that I was going to go out of order in this video for a particular reason. I will get into that during next video. but. Today's video was on Keturah, just to kind of get this line out of the way. Next time we will talk about Ishmael and then Isaac. So I look forward to teaching on that in the future. Bye.